Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com These are the Jack Lake English Oak Camo Tundra Boots Alright then, now that they've had a quick wash off in a puddle I will show you the soles um, You may have seen the, my quick look video at these and already have an idea of what they're like but as you can see they look pretty substantial and I can say now I've been wearing these boots for, I'd say, a good 100 miles plus now, over various mud roads and some nice nice steep hills. Um, I can say that I've got a good feeling that these soles are going to last a good while, which is always something I'm concerned about when buying boots. Um, so I won't go over all the little details and that, because you can see that in the video, the link which is appearing on screen now. Um, but words of review. So, like I say, first things first, the soles, my main concern. Um, they certainly seem very grippy. Uh, usual thing when you get to very flat surfaces and it's wet, such as the wooden boards on the stern of my boat, then obviously there's, well, there's very few shoes that are going to be grippy in that circumstance, but when it comes to good old tarmac and going up stony, rubbly tracks and that, these have been excellent i'd say these are definitely the, my favorite pair of boots that i've owned to date um i'm not used personally to having these proper up your leg tundra boots um so there's been a few things that i've had to get used to with first of all the incredible amount of lacing involved all of the top level of these laces can be unhooked so when i've been riding my bike i've literally just been lacing them up to there and then using all these hooks to hold the loose laces back out of the pedals and that. So obviously by doing that, uh, by lacing up to there, you've got a lot more freedom of movement in your ankles and that. So I've luckily been able to manage to carry on biking like a lunatic wearing these. So that's definitely a plus. And also obviously not having to lace them up to the top every time is well quicker if you just want to throw them on and run out to a car or have a lift somewhere, that sort of thing. Um, the next thing I will say, the laces are a little bit, when you um, feel them like that, a little bit stretchy, but once you've actually pulled them tight, they stay tight and taut and don't have too much give in them, which is definitely something that's a plus, as I've had boots before where the laces have cut, uh, just basically stretched more and more as you're walking them, so your boots get looser and looser. Um, so far they've been waterproof, I've been trying a few various uh, levels of water resistance on them from giving them quick dips in little streams and then the walker's nightmare walking through fields of wet grass and even in that extreme um, test they seem to be holding up well so that's something that I am hugely pleased with. Um, let's see, what about the general comfort of them? Um, like I say, because I'm not used to having these proper up your shin boots, there's definitely been a little bit of getting used to them, but after a few good walks in them, I'm already sorted and sussed. Um, it's all just a case of learning how to lace them and how tight you want them and all that sort of stuff. This is all nice and soft and pretty well padded, it's got to, say, uh, it's got to be said. The only thing that I did find was, like I say, not having all this normally on my boots. Um, I found it puts pressure on the very top of my ankle in a way that I'm not used to so I've come close to having a blister but not actually blistered on the top of my ankle there so everything seems all in order and um, they're definitely exceptionally comfortable um, and I would say these soles feel thicker than I thought they would because I'm used to soles looking nice and substantial I mean I'm obviously not saying these are an inch thick or anything but there's a lot of boots that look like they've got substantial soles and then once you've worn them for a few moments they all seem to have collapsed to be wafer thin beneath your feet but these are nice and solid still um, so I would say that's pretty much it it's all um, all huge positives and pluses give you a nice little twirl there so you can get a general gist once again of them um, yeah like I say definitely definitely something uh, worth looking at and for the price of about £75, you can't really argue with them. I mean, you can get a lot less for your money um, at that price range than these. And, well, I mean, just look at them once again. How awesome are they? Um, 
I always like to have my trousers tucked in to keep them from getting all wet and muddy and all the rest of it. But if you did want to disguise these a little, then as soon as you put your um, trousers over the top, you can't tell quite how epic a boot that you are wearing and they don't look too abnormal for wandering into town with. So that's been the Jack Bike Tundra boot. I will say check out sortofinteresting.com for more and some pictures and bits and pieces like that. Um, for loads more outdoor stuff, obviously subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you around soon. Farewell.